Okay, let's uh, go over to the um, on the S&P trade this morning after CPI. So we talked about CPI coming out here this morning and um, at 8.30. We want to start stocking trades around three minutes after news. Uh, this is one that um, I talked about before it fired off. So as we're moving down, as we're moving down here on the microphone, I talked about the next trade we have is a V bottom. Why? Why are we looking as we're ticking down here? Um, it's after news. It's three minutes after news, 8.30. We're looking for a buy. Why a buy? We have a dual trend filter. We have an outer zone, which is green, green. We have an inner zone, which is our Simrinko proprietary bar type. And that provided us with the trend being up. Hey, that's still trailing on crude, guys, on that V-top I talked about. We're in this V-top right now on crude. That's a V-top. Before it came up at this level, around 901, I said, watch for a V-top. Why? Dual trend filter was red, red. Looking for a V-top. Trailing on crude right now. Okay, so this is a this is a sell on crude oil at 67.05. Right now, it's down to as low as 88. Just heads up on that if you're trailing crude. Let's take a look at the S&P. As we start ticking down, I said look for a V bottom. Why? Because the V bottom, what we're looking for, we're looking for with overall trend direction. The trend direction, the dual filter said we're up. We're green, green. Now, going into that V bottom, right here at that V bottom, I pulled up the larger trend. Now, the larger trend's been going up since, uh, like I said, around 2 o'clock yesterday. So this is your overall buy side bias going after news, right? Because this big red candle means nothing to me for shorting the market. It means everything to me is telling me that they're trying to grab liquidity. The smart money's out there trying to grab liquidity. So when I see a big red candle like this this morning, like I was talking about on the microphone this morning, I love seeing big red candles when it's been green all the way up because it tells me they're trying to grab liquidity and continue to the upside. So you can use this larger trend in the trade room to have your buy side bias. So this told us going into the CPI report that we have a buy side bias. We had a big red bar, current bar, telling us they're trying to grab liquidity, but the previous bars were green, so we have a buy side bias. So this helped us with the V bottom. So the V bottom, what it did is it told us that going into the on a retracement after news, going into this retracement, that if we turn a yellow candle that turns within three candles of our hammer, one, two, three, that is an entry. So your entry is right there at 81 and a half plus or minus a couple ticks. We had a Momo one we're allowed to take, a Momo two, and then after Momo two, is there if the yellow candles fire off, this market can go parabolic. What a parabolic move is, is from all these traders, these counter trend traders that got stopped out from this swing high, you can see that's when these starts firing again. They like to jump back on board so they don't want to miss the move. And that creates what's called climax buying. And the climax buying drove the market from the 81 and a half all the way up to 5504. So these are patterns in the market that work on a daily basis. They're strictly patterns in the market that work on a daily basis. So now what we're doing, we're looking for a sweet spot trade to the upside again, not unless you still have a trail that's trailing. And so if you're still trailing from this original position, this was a normal entry, normal V bottom, because if it would have stopped here on my structure dots, that would be a sweet spot trade but it got deeper into normal V bottom. We had a real nice move from 80 and three quarters. It got as high as 04. 80 and three quarters to 04, almost 25 points to the upside. And this is projected right around here on, that I talked about before it came up this morning. We talked about the specific trade with trend before it even fired off. So your entry would be the close of that candle. Your initial stock can be the low of this candle. A lot of traders like to put it at the halfway mark or a three-quarter mark of that candle because you don't need to have it in that entire candle. All right, so right now we're looking for another trade setup. Right now we're looking for a sweet spot trade, structures holding. 
Do we have a yellow candle that has printed? No. So is there a trade? No. You want confirmation. So you can use these two charts uh, to, to help you out to find out when a, um, a sweet spot trade is coming up. And now what a sweet spot trade is, that is when structure holds. If structure holds, meaning we get, we get a reversal bar here, and we get a yellow candle that fires here, that tells us the market could really be in a markup phase, meaning they're going to try to mark the market up really hard. But in, unless you get a yellow candle here, it tells us that we are not in a markup phase yet. So we're still waiting for a yellow candle. Down here, we got a perfect yellow candle. When I was talking about it, as we retraced here this morning, we start retracing. So on the microphone, we're looking for a V bottom with trend. Our dual trend filter is up. Remember, it takes nine parameters that have to meet when this dual trend filter is red, red, or green, green. If it's green, green, we're looking to buy. We're looking to buy these V bottles. So there's our hammer. You got to have a yellow candle that comes in with three, three candles. The, the count starts one, two, three, right after the hammer. That's on the third candle. There's your entry. Market moves almost 25 points to the upside. Momo one comes in. You have another shot at Momo one. I like looking at V bottoms into the Momo one. This year you get two shots at it, really. Some traders like to take Momo twos. I prefer V bottoms, Momo ones. Momo two just lets me know the runner's running. If I get a Momo three that comes in, that's when the market likes to go parabolic. I talked about this when this candle came up this morning on the microphone. This market could go parabolic, climax buying. Why? If I see a Momo 3 hits, this was at 90 and 3 quarters, and it shot out like a cannon all the way up 14 S&P points, and we're still running to the upside. So you can see if I had a yellow candle here, this would be a buy a sweet spot trade because it held structure here. I just didn't get a yellow candle here, or I would be entering this market again for another trade setup. But look how they grab liquidity, the smart money. We talked about this this morning. So before this V bottom even came in, right here, we talked about how they're trying to grab liquidity, right? Why? Because our larger trend chart had a big giant red bar down with all green candles before that. That tells us it's a buy side bias. And what they do, it's gonna turn green candle here again Typical smart money move, what they did after CPI news. We're right with them. We know exactly what they're doing. As we had this big red bar, I said they're trying to grab liquidity. Look for a V bottom. We got the V bottom. It's going to turn green a second. And we were right with them. We got in at this swing low of 81.5. Some of you got in at this level. Good job. It typed in the room. I wanted another one here at uh, the form with a sweet spot trade. We just didn't get it. But that's how you do it. You can use the V bottoms with overall dual trend, dual trend filter. Now, if you turn green, red, or red, green, for instance, here's a trade setup I was talking about on the microphone this morning. I wanted crude oil short. I said, look for a V top. I talked about this one coming up to the failure. So it came into a failure. As we're in a failure, I said, look for a V top on crude right around 9.01 this morning. We got pulled in at 9.03 a couple minutes later, short 67.05, got as low as 74. So almost 20 ticks right there. Now we're looking for a V top on crude. So my next trade I'm looking for is another V top on crude. Why? Because my dual trend filter is red, red. So the reason I talked on the mic looking if you're a crude oil trader, inventories come out at 1030. Why you want to look for a V top? I saw the retracement coming in here but mainly is because we're dual trend filter. My dual trend filter picked it up. It's saying you only want to look for shorts. If it's red, red, we don't buy. We're not counter trend traders. We know counter trend traders are the amateur traders, but they're not the smart money. So we want to go with the smart money. The smart money buys retracements with overall trend. Our dual trend filter allows us to do that. Dual trend filter is red, red. There's the one, sure enough, we got that nice move down. So now we're looking for another V top. If structure holds here, it's going to be a sweet spot trade short on crude oil on the next one that pulls in. If it stays below my structure dots of 67.07, and if we get pulled in for a, a yellow candle short, that is a nice trade as far as that one to do. The yellow candles form based upon structure, Gary, structure of the market. That's why they form. All right. 